Good morning everyone. So it's Friday. Promise an update today. Um, the lettuce is starting to germinate already. This actually started last night. Um, at least this one did. And uh, this morning I noticed this one right here is just starting. So that's pretty fast. That one took two days to germinate. Alright, so and everything else here is doing pretty good. Corn is coming in. As you can see, there's no leaves on it yet. It's kind of interesting how that grows. How that. That's very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anything just grow like a stick. But, uh, yeah, it's coming in. And there's a couple more corns. I'm moving them over closer to the sun. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> to the grow light. Tomatoes are doing good. Some more jalapenos, some more bell peppers. Another set of Scotch bonnets. And, uh, yeah. Alright, let's go check on the hydro plant. Let's see how that's doing. No one is March 8th. So this is doing pretty good. It's actually looking really nice. You can tell the difference already. Um, well, when I first, uh, right after I finished refeeding it, emptying out and redoing it, uh, it got really wilty. I, it was just kind of bleh. So I remember it did that last time. I changed the water and changed the feed. So. What I did, I just put it right here in front of the coffee machine because it blocks it from the sun or blocks the sun from getting to it and um, did that until the sun went down to the sunset and then I put it right back in the window and it, and it perked right back up. Alright, so that's what I got. Um, and I also changed my mind on what kind of container I'm going to do this the cracky experiment on. The ones, the little plastic bottles, they would work just fine. But I was looking at um, some foam. Someone threw out a big old thing of styrofoam in the alley. I'm thinking about going and grabbing so I can cut circles and actually use. Well, right now it's full of. <laughs> right now it's full of jars. <laughs> my cord jars for my tomatoes. Uh, yeah bit of a lack of storage around here and um, what I want to do is just take a piece of foam cut a circle about the size of that so it will float no I can't do it if it's gonna if I'm doing cracky it can't float so um, I'll put something in between to hold it up but I'm gonna use this fill it up with water and I'm gonna put um, some lady stockings or lady lady leggings on it just gonna go to the thrift shop and grab some lady clothes, pants, you know, so I can just slide it up on there, dark black ones. And I have a second one of those tall guys. I just gotta find out where I put it. I think it might be in the shed. But I do have two of those. So this will work out a lot better. Alright, so we just got a bunch of rain last night. So everything is nice and watered and wet. <laughs> everything is wet. And a crazy thing happened last night. There was a uh, loud thunder clap last night. Uh, it, just, it was the loudest I've ever heard. It sounded like a bomb went off. And it's come to find out next block over um, my house was actually struck by lightning and uh, caught the roof on fire um, it's a vacant house so no one got injured um, and there isn't too much damage just, I just walked up to there only a quarter of the house like a quarter of the roof is like obviously damaged and burnt but the rest of the house looked fine it's the first time ever you hear about lightning strikes in Los Angeles mm -hmm. We barely have weather, let alone lightning that actually makes it to the ground. I 
right? It was interesting because I almost bought a big old cast iron weather, you know, the one with the, the rooster directions and it tells you the direction of the wind and thank god i knew that what a perfect lightning rod all right i hope everyone has a good weekend have a good friday peace out and one more thing to add to that um i was reading this packaging and it says i need to change the water every two weeks every two weeks. The instructions that came with this thing got awful. Now that I'm actually paying attention to what hydroponics is, I'm gonna have to write them and let them know their instructions really suck. For one, you know, the nutrients they gave with it. So here's a little thing they gave with it. That's it. There's no information on it whatsoever. An instruction little piece of paper that came with it. The portions was broken down for a gallon of water when that thing only holds two pints. And it doesn't tell you when you need to change the water or it doesn't it never mention it's ever having to change the water. Or how often you gotta reapply the feed. That's probably why I found it at a discount store, not at an actual retail store and it only cost me 20 bucks the retail price on it you know it says was this price but now it's this price it was 69.99 70 bucks I got it for 20 all right talk to you guys later